This is a video demonstration for focal length experiment option two. Firstly, the materials that we will require. We will require a plastic jar, a transparent plastic jar that we can fill with water. You can also use any kind of um, tall glass filled with water that will act as our homemade lens. Uh, scissors, ruler, and here I have two sets of arrows that I've made. This is just cardboard um, that I have, uh, the arrows are made of cardboard that I have taped onto another piece of cardboard and these will act as our image needles and our object needles as was seen in the focal length experiment option one right the next is a tape measure a tape measure isn't required you can also just use plain tape and mark distances with that or just mark distances on any surface that you have with a pen or a marker firstly the first step will be similar to the one in the convex lens experiment where we try to focus a distant um, the image of a distant object onto a screen so for this purpose I've used a window uh, like in the focal use uh, focal length experiment option one and I'm going to try to focus the image of that window onto my screen with our um, homemade lens which is just a jar of water Right, so I've pa I have taped a scale, uh, a ruler to my uh, door, and I'm trying to find out what the focal length of this um, homemade lens would be, and trying to focus the image. So it appears that, that once I remove the light, so I can better see the image, it appears that the um, focal length of this jar is around. Seven. I've also marked like a blue line so that it's helpful for me to see at which um, uh, what would be the center of the lens and trying to find out the focal length through that. So here it appears that it's around seven centimeters, right? And as you can see from focal length experiment one, the window was much more clear, but here it appears elongated because of course this is not a real lens. And so the image appears distorted, though it is still focusing it, which gives it some kind of property of a convex lens. So here you can see it more clear. I have a ruler that I'm measuring the focal length with it around, it's around seven centimeters. The next, we're just going to use um, some arrows on a sheet of paper to demonstrate the properties of this homemade lens. So first of all, I have placed the, le um, the um, arrows at a distance that is less than the focal length of this homemade lens. So if the focal length was 7 centimeters, here, as you can see, um, the distance between the object and the homemade lens is around 2.5 centimeters, which is a lot less. And as you know, that when the object is placed between the focal, mm, uh, less than the focal length from the lens, the object um, appears to be magnified, but um, it is not inverted. It is an erect image and it is magnified. Now I'm trying to move it a little bit backwards and now it's around five, which is still less than the focal length. And as you can see, it's still an erect image. Now I have placed it around seven, which was our approximate focal length that it, as it, we measured it in the previous step. And as you can still see, the arrow is still uh, upright and um, magnified as compared to the original uh, size of the arrow. Now here, I'm trying to move it backwards. Now I am in the um, I am the the distance between the object and the convex lens is now more than the focal length of this lens, so. The object, though, appears magnified. Um, it is not upright anymore. It is laterally inverted, but it's still magnified. It's still a magnified image, as you can see here. All right. Next, I'm going to move the lens. Even move this jar of water, which I keep calling lens, even further back, and. It's around 10, 11 centimeters, and it's still a magnified image, as you can see. Quite magnified, in fact. Um, right. Now I'm going to try to move it to about 
twice the approximate focal length that we have measured, which would be around 14 centimeters. So when the distance is 14 centimeters, that is twice the amount of focal length of this um, homemade convex lens, you know that the from lens theory that the image would be approximately uh, would be um, uh, approximately around the distance uh, 2f to uh, twice the focal length on the other side of the lens and it would be um, the same size so it wouldn't be magnified the magnification would be one and it would be laterally inverted and um, as you can see here's laterally inverted image the image the, uh, the size of the image is almost the same as the size of the object the size of the arrow on the paper so this is a good indication that our lens is kind of um, following the properties that we um, know about convex lenses already. Now, as I'm trying to move it backwards, like away from the 2F point, the image is diminishing. The magnification is getting smaller and smaller, and it's actually a um, diminished image that we are getting now. The arrow is a lot bigger on the, on the object side, and the image is a lot smaller as you can see here, which also corresponds to the properties that we already know about the convex lens. Just moving it backward. And yes, as you can see, the distances between the arrows has diminished, the arrows themselves have diminished, and now we're at quite a far, a far away from uh, as compared to the focal length. But as I move it forwards again, you see the magnification starts increasing again. And here it appears that it's at 2F. Now we're getting closer and closer, more magnified, in fact, more magnified. And now we are between the focal length and the, um, and the object has, is now not laterally inverted anymore. So now the formal calculation of focal length would require us to use our tape measure, as we did in the first experiment, um, place our um, jar of water at some distance. Uh, I think in this experiment I chose the distance to be 40 centimeters, uh, the um, mark to be 40 centimeters, and I'm going to use one of the cardboard arrows that I made um, in uh, that I showed you in the material section and use it as our object needle whose image we will try to see from the other side of this lens. I will, pu I will place it about twice the focal length, so around 14 centimeters away. I think I placed it around 54 centimeters. Now I'm trying to obtain the image from the other side. And now, again, we will try to remove parallax error just the same way as we did in focal length experiment option one. Um, move the um, image needle backwards and forwards in such a way that the um, the tips of these two arrows coincide and they seem to align and by changing the position of the camera they do not disconnect. That's how we know that this is where the image is actually being formed and this is the image distance. Right, so as you can see when I move the camera the tips do not disconnect. I'm just going to move a little bit further because they're not completely joined and I think this is where I have removed the parallax error yes so this as you can see here the even the size of the arrows appears to be comparable so this is a good indication that where we have placed our image um, needle is at twice the focal length of what would be the focal length of this um, homemade lens All right so now we're just going to find out the position where I have placed this image needle. The image needle appears to be at 28 centimeters, so 40 minus 28 would give you the image distance, and then we'll find out the object distance, the distance from the needle on the other side to the lens, and using these two distances in the lens formula, we can calculate the focal length of this would-be lens. So, this is the end of the demonstration. Good luck.